I'm Jean Ellen and welcome to the Great Southwest. It's Mother's Day and I want to wish everyone out there a happy Mother's Day. I want to wish my mom Jean Marie and my sister Janice and all my sister-in-laws a happy Mother's Day today. So it's another beautiful day here and remember I was talking about my feather mesquite and all its little fuzziness? It is totally covered. Just fuzzies everywhere. And one of the downsides is there's fuzzies everywhere. They get all over the ground. <laughs> so you have, to, you have to clean that up later. But uh, let's go see my latest creation. Oh, well, I'm back at Joanne Fabrics. The line outside wasn't very bad at all. So I went in to see what was in the diamond dot area. And it looks like the individuals are 40% off, but if you buy it in the the group, they're not. They're not. None of that stuff's on sale. Um, oh, but they got the light boxes back in. That's really cool. Kind of low on kits. Kind of zooming through those. Oh, but they have a lot of the uh, the Disney and the Harry Potters. Those seem to be in stock pretty good. And uh, just look around, see what's new. Ooh, what's that? I like that one. Look at that one later. So checking out the kits. They are 40% off. So this is what I got at my recent Joanne run. Everything here was on sale. Except for the light box. Maxine, seriously, Maxine, get off there. And that I used the 40% off keeper. So basically they're all on sale. I was very excited to get even more colors to add to my uh, collection and this here I was I saw it I thought it was pretty it was on sale thought I'd get it and then one of the employees there showed me a recently completed one that she did of this and it was gorgeous so I'm very happy I got it and I can't wait to start that one what do you think Maxine Are you good yeah she's okay I finished my Disney Cruise Line uh, framed canvas to put on my wall. And I also finished the kit of the Cinderella Castle. And I used some ABs in there, it looked really cool. And then I moved on to another framed one of Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I traced him and then I, I did him in some glow in the dark white. And look at it, that, ooh, that's glow in the dark. Really cool. I decided he needed a little bit more to his picture, so I've sketched in some scrolling on the corners that I think I will also do in the glow-in-the-dark white, since the background is going to be a dark, so that way it'll stand out. I put some dot stick down, and <laughs> I did that before I was able to sketch in this corner, so I'll wait for that to dry, I just freehand it, and then... Um, I went ahead and put glue in this area, so I'm planning on doing this whole bottom part in the next step. And then I'll go up and do the top. I'm afraid to put glue on too early and it'll dry before I'm ready to work with it. So, but here he goes. Here goes zero. I want to talk a little bit about my light box. So I did get this one from Joanne Fabrics. It is $24.99. But with the coupon, it was $10 off that. So approximately $15 I spent on this. And I had seen other Diamond Dot people uh, using a light box. So I decided I would try it out. And I was really, really shocked at how thin this thing is. I mean, it's, it's, I thought it'd be big and bulky, but it's not. It's, it's very, it's very thin. So that works out great. It doesn't, uh, get in the way and this one has it actually is made by diamond dot it has three light settings Let's see if I can get this thing to focus it doesn't know what to focus on my hand on there there we go it's got three lights whoa it gets brighter it's got three it, it starts low and then goes up three clicks and then turns off so let me turn it on. Ooh, that's really bright. And stick the castle that I just finished up here. 
And you see how it just, it really illuminates it. And my hand on there again. Um, what I found was that it will show me empty spots really quick if I had missed one or anything. So uh, that was neat. And the lighting in my room is, is so poor that it is not, it wasn't being very helpful from below for, for a bit. But then I realized that when I go to put a diamond down, sometimes I will cast a shadow where I'm trying to aim. So having this light underneath, I didn't have an issue with that anymore. So yeah, I'm very happy with this purchase and uh, works pretty good. So I will continue to use the light box. I used it um, a little bit doing zero over there. So yeah, I think it was a good purchase. I'm glad I finally did it. Uh, I need to, now I have so many diamonds that I don't know what to do with them. Uh, I really need to clean off that junky shelf. It's a lot of my daughter's things that uh, she left behind when she moved out. So, ha, I'll get myself a box and um, fill it up. So this right here, <laughs> I showed this with zero. And this is number 4001. It's the glow in the dark. And it is not nighttime, so it's probably not going to show up. But it, this certainly... Off light. You can see it here. It's even glowing, even though it's daytime. Uh, it looks cool. They definitely have very good glow power. So I go to sleep at night and wondering what that light is up on my shelf. That's my glow in the darks. I actually have the right glow on them because I'll accidentally grab it thinking it's one of my whites. So it's my glow ones. So I made sure to buy a few of these because I think when the holidays come, I'll have a lot of fun with this. But this, this uh, zero is going to be a, a gift to uh, a gentleman I know. His name's Tanner. And he is a big fan of The Nightmare Before Christmas. So this is Zero the dog from The Nightmare Before Christmas. So I hope he likes it. I'm trying to get it done really quick. So I'll keep plugging away on it. It's coming along. I tell you, doing the backgrounds kills me. And by putting the glue all along this bottom half. That was stressful. I am i was afraid that it would get less less sticky if I waited too long, so I was pressured to do that. So now I'm just doing like up here, I just, I'm doing that one little section, then I'll do like this little section, and then I'll finish with that section. Whew, it's like watching paint dry, but watching TV while I'm doing it, so I'm having fun. Moving on. I decided to be brave and clean off one of the junky shelves. And I got a pile of stuff to give my daughter. And I was able to get up there. Where does pink fall on the spectrum? I have red, orange, yellow, but then I had pink. Where does pink go? It kind of goes down after looking it up by purple, but that's at the very end. So I put it at the beginning. Anyway, it makes no sense. But so now from left to right, I have pink, red, orange, yellow. And then on the second, little lift behind it. I have the green and the blue. Then I have purple, which is the end. But I have my whites, my blacks, my ABs, my browns, a lot of gray. Not sure why I have so much gray. Very proud of myself for doing that. But then I realized I have quite a few on my desk. <laughs> so, I'm going to figure out. I'm just going to have to clean off another shelf. But that looks kind of cool. I like that a lot. All right, on to the final section. I have finished Zero, the dog from Nightmare Before Christmas for my friend Tanner. And let's look and see how it is. Ta-da, glow in the dark. I love it. And I did, <laughs> so turn it back off. I love how this glows. It looks like something out of a science experiment. So I used the glow in the dark, which is number 4001. 
and then the background is a um, one of the ABs, one of the really shiny metallic looking ones. And it's number, wow, it's hard to see that, 7002. And then the little pumpkin, it's too bad the pumpkin wasn't big enough to put a face on him. But 8331 was for his nose and the little pumpkins on the edges. And then I went ahead and did the shading for zero using regular black, which is the 8001. So there he is. Very cool, can't wait to give it to him. Thank you everyone for joining me today. And I also have been joined by Apple. She's one of my other kitties. She's about 10 years old, even though she's a little petite. Um, we're thinking that maybe she has lost her hearing. But we're gonna keep an eye on her. She's absolutely adorable. Hi, Apple. She loves it out in the enclosure. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscription button. I appreciate it a whole bunch. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoyed this content. I hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful day.